Okay, so it is now evening. It is now 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But essentially today was pretty crazy. I ended up going on two tours. I skipped out on one. I skipped out on Kohl's. They had like a yoga, wellness, and networking seminar. I skipped out on that. Um, one, because I actually hate doing yoga <laughs> and I'm really bad at it. I'm not flexible, so I try to avoid it. Um, and also because I was so tired, I needed a nap. I'm still so sick. I took some more medicine, but I really don't feel too hot. Um, but I went on a Ross tour of their corporate facility where they do buying. And I went on a Burlington tour of their corporate facility for planning and allocations. And Burlington was boring as hell. Ross was like cool. It was like cool to understand that side and that world, but I think just because I don't see myself having a career in that direction that I was kind of getting a little antsy. Plus I was so tired and I was jacked on caffeine at the same time. Like I don't know if you've ever been in that position where you've had so much caffeine because you're tired and you need to wake up. So it makes your body shake and like your body starts like getting energy, but your mind is still tired. So my a head kept like nodding off during the seminar but my body was like ready to run a marathon so it was not a fun feeling so as soon as I came back to my room I went to bed for two hours I got a two-hour nap in but it was fun and what I like about New York the most is like at night it comes alive like during the day people seem kind of dead and tired and it's really quiet on the streets but at night it's like the whole city comes alive and there's so much noise and hustling and bustling but during the day it's pretty darn quiet at least compared to downtown LA like about New York also is that it reminds me so much of Toronto it reminds me a lot of home and it's kind of nostalgic it's kind of nice like the weather one I saw a patch of snow ah! <laughs> that was exciting um, I haven't seen snow in so long New York City feels more like home than LA does to me LA feels very foreign to me because it's so different but I feel like this is the same time zone as Toronto it's like a 12 hour drive away from Toronto it just feels so close to home in the future I would love to have a place in New York too and go between LA and New York because they're so different but they are both such great cities and I feel like going between the two of them would give a person the perfect balance Tomorrow we have an early start to the morning. We have a couple more meetings and seminars starting at 8.30 in the morning. So I want to get to bed so I can wake up early and have a good breakfast. Um, but I think I might skip out on some seminars and like go check out Central Park. So we'll see what ends up happening, but good night. Okay, day two, New York City. This is my roommate, Savannah. <laughs> She's also one of the people who got a scholarship to come to this place. And that's part of the reason why we're ditching the seminars. Because <laughs> it was free. <laughs> so yeah, we went to a couple of seminars this morning. We heard the CEO of Starbucks, sorry, the CMO of Starbucks talk, the CEO of Macy's, and the CEO of PetSmart. They all spoke. Really inspiring, actually. I enjoyed that. But then it got kind of boring so we left afterwards like kind of repetitive too. it got a little repetitive so we grabbed our lunch we left <laughs> we also got bagels this morning saw fire that was pretty oh, you crazy that. <laughs> I know right the exciting things that happened my camera's never with me but now we're walking we're in Times Square we're walking and we're gonna go to a cathedral to see some cool architecture and get inspired in a different way They filmed Home Alone. And what else did they film here, you said? Oh, the story Eloise is based her up. She lives in the closet. Well, I don't know that movie, but it was. 
a children's book movie. Oh, it's pretty. Apparently, perfume that smells like the Plaza Hotel. Weird flex, but okay. Apparently, that's the little girl that the movie was, right? Yeah. I kind of want to go have a coffee in the restaurant, but apparently, the coffee, well, my dad says the coffee's like $30. But I mean, if it's fancy, isn't it worth it? And the smoke is coming out, and it's coming out of manhole. <laughs> coming out of manholes too. Right, so we're gonna talk to you, right? Like, is that pollution? Am I like inhaling? Like, what? What is that? Good morning. It is day three in New York City. I hope this music isn't too loud. It's playing in the lounge. I'm in the hotel lounge right now, I guess. I'm just editing some photos. I did a photo shoot and I'm editing some photos for someone. So, I'm still very sick. I feel like I'm just getting progressively more sick. I feel worse than before. You can tell because my voice has dropped like a whole octave. I normally don't talk this slow. But today on the itinerary, I still have my badge on because like the seminars are still going on right now. But I decided to skip them. Surprise! <laughs> I went in for like a second and I was like bored, so I left. I was like, I'm not wasting my time with this. So I left and I came to where they have um, a beautiful view of all of downtown New York City. So I'm like here at the desk, got my blazer on, my business suit, I got a sparkly sequin shirt, and I'm just doing some work on my laptop. Like, that's Broadway right there. What? That's crazy. And then like even behind me, you can see all of that. So, today, since I skipped the seminar, and I'm pretty much done the work that I need to do on my laptop, I think I'm going to go get breakfast because it's already 10.20. Oh shit, no, I have to go take a group picture downstairs with my school group. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs, take a group picture, then I'm gonna go get breakfast and coffee. I went to bed at 3 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, I went to bed at 3.30 in the morning. And I woke up at 7.30, so I'm going off four hours of sleep again, and I'm sick, so... Oh, it must sound so gross to listen to me. Like, in all honesty, I, I'm so sorry I'm making you guys listen to me talk like this. We just did the photo op with my school group, and um, I guess I'll just kind of give you an update on last night before I head out to go get some breakfast. Well, brunch now, I guess. It's 11, so I'm going to get some bagels. Um, last night I ended up catching a last minute show of the Phantom of the Opera. The tickets were like $60. A ticket. I went alone. It was $60 and um, I've been wanting to see the Phantom of the Opera for as long as I can remember. I love musical theater. And um, the show was good. The vocals were amazing, like they were singing opera the whole time and still running around and dancing, but um, I didn't like the storyline. I thought the storyline would be, would have been different. I never read the storyline before. I just loved the songs. Um, yeah, I wasn't fond of the storyline, but I loved everything else. But I'm excited to see what Mean Girls and Book of Mormon is like, so that's tomorrow. I've got my Balenciaga sunglasses. I got a Banana Republic blazer, no idea where the sequin shirt is from. This pleather skirt is from Zara, and then, yeah, my vegan docks. And then I have this Louis Vuitton purse. Obviously, it's not vegan, but I purchased this before I started shopping 
vegan. Um, so I still use it. Um, and the leather strap on it broke, so I replaced it with a Michael Kors chain. Because chains are vegan. So, that's my outfit today. I actually really like my outfit today. So that's how we're going to go out and show it off. In the streets of Manhattan. Alrighty. Let's go. I'm tired of hearing myself talk and I just want fucking food. Okay, I'm so excited to try this. This is a vegan cinnamon bagel with cinnamon tofu cream cheese. I thought I was going to hate it because I hate raisins, but it tastes really good. Oh my god. Oh, I got my hair. Gross. That's good. This place is amazing. I'm so happy they have vegan stuff. Okay, this one I'm really excited to try. Oh, by the way, this place is called Liberty Bagels. Um, bagels and coffee is apparently like a thing in New York City. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's a rainbow bagel with vegan cream cheese in it. This whole thing is vegan, what the hell? This is so good. Oh my god. I also just haven't had like a bagel and cream cheese in like, I don't know how long. I used to have these all the time at Tim Hortons in Canada, but this puts Tim Hortons to shame, and I used to stand by Tim Hortons. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, we have a onion bagel with, I think, spinach and artichoke tofu cream cheese. So, let's see how this tastes. I swear I didn't finish those other bagels. I didn't just eat, like, three bagels in one sitting. Although I wish I could. Oh my god, this is massive. It's like each bagel is getting bigger than the last. Like, this is, this is massive. <laughs> I just had my cavities filled in my teeth, so my jaw still hurts from where I got the injection for the freezing. So I can't open my mouth too wide, it hurts. But like... <laughs> This one's my favorite. Hey guys, I'm. <laughs> oh, it's too bright without my sunglasses. It is day four in New York and I have lost my voice completely so that is why I didn't vlog last night plus also we went to a jazz oh my god this is so bad we went to a jazz club it's called Smalls and it was in what was the area called NoHo I think North Houston when I say NoHo I think of North Hollywood <laughs> but I guess here it's North Houston um, and it was amazing. I loved it. I was so blown away that I was crying. They were insanely talented musicians and it just emotionally fucked me up. It was beautiful. I'm just gonna... Fuck, that was hot. Ah, my tongue. Fuck. Ow. Ah. I'm gonna go see Book of Mormon. And it's a matinee show. I guess and I, then I'm going to go see Mean Girls in the evening. So I'm going to see two Broadway shows today. Which doesn't leave me much time to do much else. I don't think I'm even going to have enough time to get food. So I'm just going to have coffee right now. And then maybe get food in between the shows.
The use of photographic equipment and recording devices is strictly prohibited. So I just finished up the Book of Mormon and it was amazing. Oh my god, I loved it. It was totally my style of comedy. It was so, like, it was kind of perverted comedy, but it was really fucking funny and it touched on religion, which I loved. And um, it was just really smart and witty and everyone was so talented. Amazing. Right now I'm at a vegan burger joint. It's called Mother Vegan and I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. So I got an impossible burger and I got a Thai bowl or something and french fries. And I'll probably still get dessert and I'm probably gonna finish it all. Well, I kinda have to because I'm going to Mean Girls after this. This looks so freaking good. Oh my god. Indian, I feel like. Sounds like a remix between like reggaeton and Bollywood music, which is like my favorite. <laughs> um, this shit's really good. I love Satan. It's like fake meat. It's so good. <laughs> okay, now I'm on to the burger. I didn't finish the bowl yet, but I'm gonna kind of interchangeably eat both because I like a mix of flavor. I've never eaten a full impossible burger to myself before. So excited. I'm gonna try to eat this. I record with my other hand, but I have a feeling it's going to get messy and I'm wearing a really nice shirt, so I'm going to try to be careful. <laughs> it's really good. I'd imagine that's what a real burger would taste like. I've never eaten a real burger before, so I don't actually know what meat tastes like. It's got like a smoky, meaty flavor to it. I don't know how I feel about the aftertaste. It's very meaty, and I've never eaten meat before, and I don't like meat. I feel like on this trip and like specifically with this vlog, I've been doing so much eating. Like I'm just like, while I was trying to eat the burger the first bite, I just had a flashback of trying to shove the big bagel in my mouth. <laughs> like I've been shoving a lot of things in my mouth this trip. <laughs> So full, oh my god, I couldn't finish that all. <laughs> I'm gonna get a brownie. I'm so full, but I just like, my mind's still hungry because it's like, I didn't eat all day, so I'm kind of just like, pent up hunger. Uh, good morning, this is day five in New York City. Um, my voice is kind of coming back a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better. I think my voice just needed to rest. I again went to sleep so late. I went to bed at 6 in the morning last night, but I slept in until 11. So I got a solid five hours of sleep, which is pretty good. Um, in the subway right now. So I'm trying to be local again. Um, so yeah, last night I saw Mean Girls and it was pretty good. It was good. I think they're obviously so talented. Everyone or anyone who's on Broadway is talented and has to go through such a process to get to where they are in their careers. So I respect that. But um, I knew the story too well because I watched the movie so many times. It was like not really an element of surprise. I wish they had more twists in it. But then again, maybe then it wouldn't do the story justice. Um, they did change up the jokes a bit. They evolved the characters to be um, more modernized. So there was a lot to do with social media, Instagram, followers, and um, how our society functions today rather than when how society functioned when that movie was made in the early 2000s. So I kind of liked that aspect of it. It was cool. But it just, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Like, it's good. It's great. But I don't know if it's like um, something that I'd be like, oh, you must see. Book of Mormon though, you must see it. So today, I just went shopping at H&M. I got two shirts and I don't know if you can hear me, but um, I'm gonna go to that custom makeup place. You make your own makeup called She Spoke Makeup. And so I have to take the subway
way to get there because it's in the it's in the East Village. Am I getting that right? Um, so I need to take the Coney Island subway downtown. So let's go do that. Also, I'm feeling ballsy as hell right now because I'm wearing white jeans and I'm on my fucking period. So, and my tampons keep leaking for some reason. I got shitty tampons. So wish luck with that, but it's the only clean pair of pants I had left for the trip, so good planning skills, Soma, good planning skills. I am triggered. It's closed. It's closed on Mondays. Today's Monday. Good job. Just took a subway all the way here to get to this place and it's closed. What do I do now? <laughs> what do I do? Fuck this shit, man. I need to fucking Yelp something to do here. I don't know, even know where I am. So I can go somewhere else, but I guess it's all part of the adventure. Like it looks so fucking cute in there. They have little mixed bottles to make different shit. They have different powders to change your color. I want to go inside and it's closed on fucking Mondays. This is bull crap. I don't even know where the fuck I am. Where the fuck am I? Things to do. Attractions, nightlife, music, films, museums, libraries. Maybe I'll go to the Freedom Tower. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm about to slit somebody's fucking throat. So, I decided not to go to the Freedom Tower. I decided to go get some vegan pizza. There was this amazing vegan pizza place that my uncle recommended to me because he's vegan as well and he lives here. And he said, you have to check it out before you go. So I was like, you know what, fine. She spoke makeup is closed, whatever. Let's go on the subway again, pay some more money again, go somewhere else and get some fucking pizza. And it's fucking closed too. Word of God, I'm gonna fucking murder somebody. Why is everything closed on Mondays here? Do people just not fucking work on Mondays? They work on weekends, they don't work on Mondays. I'm really fucking confused. Okay, fine, we'll find something else to do. This time I'm fucking checking Google Maps before I fucking go anywhere, making sure it's fucking open. Fucking shit. Fucking little piece of pizza. So I made it to a place that's open finally. This place is called Spicy Moon and they have um, Asian cuisine. So I just ordered a vegan kung pao and vegan vegetable dumplings. I think every single day that I've been here, I've been walking around like eight miles. And that's a lot in kilometers. That's like 12 kilometers. I'm just tired, I'm hungry, and I'm actually like kind of homesick now. I'm getting kind of homesick. I want to go back to LA. This is the longest I've been away from LA, and I just feel, I feel, air, I feel like barren and empty inside. I think it's partially also because there's everything that I go to is closed, so I feel like it's been kind of a waste of the day, but there we go. Okay, so, um, I am still in the east part of town. It's getting late now, as you can see, it's pretty dark out. I need to go back to the hotel, get my luggage, and go to the airport very soon. But before I do that, I wanted to say that I was on my way to find a vegan bakery after having my Kung Pao. And I found the vegan bakery, it's right there, but they didn't have anything vegan. <laughs> it just says vegan on the sign and they didn't have anything vegan. I was very confused. Fuck you Yelp, misleading me all the fucking time. But then I walk two steps down and I see this bookstore and it's called Blue Stockings. And it's absolutely the cutest thing that I have ever seen. Walked across this place and it just had all of these like beautiful quotes on the outside and I walk in and you can sit there, read a book, buy books, and they have all these unique books that are like not even from publishing companies, like they're self-published authors. And they have some like classics and they're all segregated by different topics like Black Lives Matter, feminism, um, body positivity, and it's just very forward thinking, extremely liberal, and it's very much my kind of place. And they have one dollar coffee. So I got coffee and I got a book. The book I got is called The Order of Time by Carlo Rovelli. I'm very much into time and space and that kind of stuff, so that really fascinates me, so I got it. I'll give you guys like a little peek on the inside. I just didn't want to record inside and be disrespectful, so I'll just show you through the window. They had all these magazines from different local artists here. They hold events, and some authors come and speak here. It's just probably 
the cutest little gem that I found and just stumbled upon. So you know what? All those places being closed and me wandering around aimlessly actually turned into something great because I found this really cute place. And I highly recommend it. If any of you guys are in New York City or you live here, come to Blue Stocking Cafe. Made my freaking day. So happy that I found it. Yeah, fuck you wanna be vegan. Like look, it literally says vegan menu. Like. With the actual crap, they had nothing vegan. Literally nothing. Though I have to say, the weather today is now getting to me a little bit. Um, it's not that it's like cold, it's like manageable. It's like eight degrees Celsius. Not doing the math on that, you convert it if you want to. It's more just like how gloomy it is. Today there was no sun, it was pretty gloomy. All the trees are naked, they have no leaves on them. It's just, everything looks very dead because it's winter and I'm just, I didn't realize, but it's been a year since I've had to experience that and I'm just not used to that. And it just kind of was like bringing me down and like I was kind of feeling sad and just gloomy as well. I'm really excited to go back to LA and have sunshine. I didn't realize how much I really love the sunshine there and how much it really lifts my mood up. I'm happy I live there now. It really made me appreciate how much LA has to offer. I take it for granted just because sometimes I'm missing Toronto so much that I forget to enjoy where I'm living. So it's nice to be reminded of all the great things LA has. Okay, my voice is getting tired now, so I'll catch up with you guys at the airport after I get through security and I'm in the gate and everything. <coughs> I didn't get to vlog at the airport in the terminal while I was waiting for the flight to board because I almost missed my flight. So, sorry about that. I didn't even get the chance to take out my camera while I was in the plane to like film some of the views from above because it looks beautiful at nighttime. It was a night flight. But the camera was at the bottom of my carry-on bag and I was like, I can't get it. It was just like, I was so rushed and it was so poorly planned on my part on how I got to the airport and how I got to, onto the plane. First of all, two of the subways that I was taking were delayed. They were never delayed any other time I took them, but when I was going to the airport, they just had to be delayed. And the reason I took this subway in the first place was to avoid traffic and to avoid delays. Then I get to the terminal, um, I guess transportation, where you pay to go on this bus that takes you to different terminals. And um, I didn't know that it was a separate ticket you needed from your subway pass or whatever so the guy who was standing there by the machine where you buy the passes um he was like telling me that i need a new pass i was like okay can you help me get one then he starts flirting with me he's like oh um you're really pretty i'm like thank you very much i always appreciate compliments and there's nothing wrong with that but then he was like can i get your instagram i'm like no i don't give that out to strangers um i just really need help getting a ticket i'm very late for my flight and he's like oh but come on we don't have to be strangers if we keep talking i'm like no, I, I don't do that. Then he shows me, he pulls up his Instagram. He's like, look, but I have 10K followers. I'm like, listen, that's amazing. But please, I need help catching my flight. And he just was not being helpful. I'm like, that's great. I still am not going to give you my Instagram. I just need help getting a ticket because I'm going to miss my flight. So I finally got it. I'm running through the terminal, dragging my bag with me. I'm like, my bag's fucking heavy. It feels like there's a dead body in there. It is heavy. And the escalator was broken at Penn Station, first of all, too. So I was taking the um, stairs up, dragging my heavy-ass bag up the stairs. And um, then I'm finally at the terminal, uh, and I thought I had t a TSA pre-check on my card. Turns out I don't. My dad told me that I did. Turns out that I don't. So then I'm back waiting in the regular line, which is going to take ten times as long. I get through security. Luckily, nothing was wrong with my bags. Um, and then... I was supposed to be at gate B30, and I get there, and it says that it's going to, I don't even remember the name, I think it was going to Arkansas, I don't know where it was going, and I was like, this is not LA, what happened? So, I try to look for somebody to ask, and I find the Delta, um, I guess the Delta desk, help desk, I go there, I'm like, needing help, and there's like two people in front of me, I'm like, I really have a quick question, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna miss my flight, what terminal am I at? I'm trying to catch a plane to LAX, and I thought I was at B30, it leaves at 9.20 p.m., um, and she's like, it's at B33, it got switched, so I ran over to B33, um, and they were boarding the flight, and I was one of the last people to get on, and I just made it in time, 
I was so I was like wearing my jacket in the airplane I took it off and it was just all wet with sweat I was like I feel so bad for the lady sitting next to me right now because I am grungy as fuck so that was my flight I got home I landed at about 1 a.m. I got back to my bedroom in my house at about 2 a.m. And um, my mom was waiting for me. And so we stayed up talking a bit. I caught up with her. Um, I was so tired. I didn't shower or eat or do anything. So I'm gross as fuck right now. I just woke up. So I'm going to go take a shower. I'm just emptying my luggage and cleaning my room. But <sighs> that's my story. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment tell me if you went to any of the places that i went to what i should maybe see next time i go to new york city if i missed out on anything um or what's a place that you really want to travel to i would love to know what are on your guys' top travel top places to visit to travel and i will see you in my next video let me know if you want to see a video of a room tour or if you want to see a condo tour first i'll do one of either tours let me know what you want to see first condo tour or room tour see you next week bye